Are you letting me keep these? The, you feel better? I feel better. Thank you. Are you sure? God damn, I love you, man. Thanks. Yeah, you're right. Uh, welcome to the After Party Podcast. We're talking about Zyrtec, which uh, uh, my man Pat brought some in for me, and it actually uh, didn't make me fall asleep on the air, and it, uh, my eyes aren't itching right now. So thanks, buddy. Appreciate you, buddy, buddy boy. boy. Buddy boy, and thanks to Haven Poker. Yeah, Haven Poker. Let's now, go, man. I got roundly criticized on the Twitter machine for not accepting some dude's friendship, and I am really trying to keep up with everybody, but I can't. So I'll get to you eventually. I apologize. But yeah. I'm, I'm too busy beating people's asses on Haven Poker to accept all the friend requests. H-A-Y-V-I-N, Haven Poker. Download it off the App Store. It's absolutely free. Uh, you can play Heads Up Poker against your friends, your coworkers, your neighbors, and randos. Your enemies. Uh, yeah. Enemies, maybe uh, power trip morning show members, ex lovers love Haven Poker. Yeah, everybody uh, download loves it. it. It's absolutely free. It's super fun. And then Is if you, you enter the promo code Power Trip in the first forty eight hours, you double your initial bankroll. So if you're like, hey, that sounds like a fun game, I should play that. Uh, definitely right. do that, and then definitely enter the promo code Power Trip. You can uh, click on it under the settings thing. It says Enter Codes. <laughs> Power Trip uh, gets you a double initial bankroll. It's super fun. It's a fun game. It's a I'm, good time killer. I'm killing, and I'm playing Pat right now. He's sitting across me right now. And you just folded. Well, that's a P word. I had a jacket, a queen. I was going to kick your ass you had in that. A jacket hand. queen? Yeah, had a jacket queen. That was what we called Rosie back in the day. Oh, poor Rosie. Yeah. So now I'm, I can't say what I got. You just tune, turn two pair, jam it. Yep. Bet the pot. Oh, yep. Yeah. Na- or nailed, you, what are you jamming it into, buddy boy? Your dad's rim. Let's see if. Oh, did you just go all in? Well, god it, damn it, then I'm you bet calling. Too much, Paul, you told me to. I know. I'm kidding. Oh, I'm yeah, you're you right. I didn't want that. Hammer it. Oh, but look it's... at what I got, bitch. Anyway, Haven. Oh, you poker. got three tens. Downloaded. Son of a bitch. Haven. Son of a bitch. Poker. You oh, lost no. already? Yes, he flopped another. Whoa. We're still in. We're still in. Oh, we are. I thought we went all in. We did. Oh, that's right. I did. Yeah, get your tits I out, had uh, two pairs, and he still beat me. Yep. Happens. Two yeah. pairs. I had two pairs of tits. Nice. You do have some Thank nice you. tits. Yeah, I apologize. I'm working on it, though. It's Hawk, summertime you, now. You played, uh, you played Password once, right? And one, did you not? I played one time, and that's it. How yes. come, uh, How come, uh, as a 1-0 and competitor, you had no interest in trying to get into the tournament, or you were not asked? Um, I, or a little he bit He asked both? me, and I did not respond in a timely mm. manner, and it was too late by the Got time it. I did. Yeah. Yep. So it's completely on me. And uh, But to be honest with you... It, that's a terrible, tough time of day for me, just sure. like it is for everybody. But yeah. especially this time of year, it's a terrible, tough time of day, day for me. And like, I got to go to, as soon as we're done with this, I'm driving to St. Cloud today to rehearse for four hours to get ready for the next run. Mm. Who were you partners with when you won? Was it Creasel? Roser. 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 The Glazer in the you glazer? won? The Glazer. The Glazer. Did, we didn't use that on him today. No. No, he was too busy to talking about sucking Barb's toes. Yeah, he did say that. Yeah, and then did he not pat somebody on the ass? Yeah, when he hugged Carly. 99% <laughs> sure. He gave her an ass pat? 99% oh. sure. I did not see it. It was a low hand. Whoa! Well, you're going to be called into the courthouse. Your dad is. Oh, yeah, your dad is getting called into the courthouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Zach, what? how often does your dad go to the courthouse? <laughs> well, uh, when he's not Zach. modeling for Mark Parrish. Uh, and then he, he, gets, models he gets called for in. Mark Parrish? <laughs> yeah. Zach, oh, I need an honest, honest answer from sure. you. Sure. How many times in your hotel room? Did yes, you crank it? Uh, he was too sad God, to, the fa- to crank again, it last night. Right, right now, don't even answer. Which room? Zach, the fact Which, that, you, that oh, you didn't well, say zero or one through, immediately so. is terrifying all of us. That you actually were like, God, how many was it? I lost uh, count after it was a baker's dozen. Hmm? God, you masturbate a lot. Jesus, you do, Zach. and it's cool, man. I'm cool yeah, with it. Yeah, be you, man. Yeah, be you. You got be you. Yeah, you got B.O., you bitch. Oh, I didn't say that. You were thinking it. So, uh, ask me how many times I had dinner yesterday. Go. How many times did you have dinner yesterday? One. Okay. You beat no. me because you have an ace. How many times yesterday, Shit. Hawk, did you masturbate? Um, <laughs> once. <laughs> Zach, how many times did you masturbate in Shit. the hotel room? You beat me. I don't know. It's, it's probably four or five, maybe. Dear God. How no. God. Well, well he's yeah. young, guys. He's like, you know. He's, he's young. Just... Man, you beat my ass, dude. I got my <laughs> ass beat there just now. Four or five. Listen, here's the situation, guys. Get your tits out. Yeah, when I was young, I used to beat my meat daily, all the time. How many times in a day? What the, what's the highest when you were? I don't know. I wasn't keeping a fucking diary. Yeah, you were, because <laughs> you were so sad. I was? Yeah. No, I was I was horny. What's the fastest between sessions? That's perverted. 
Yeah, you're being perverted. You're being gross. Yeah, honestly, Zach, that was an extremely yeah, personal disgusting. question. That I was don't really know the answer, though. I'm being honest with you. I don't know the answer. I, I, I don't remember what saying do I do to myself, card? i got to give it another couple Jam? minutes here. Yeah, all in. You got I, think I, got, I got it done in 12 when I was younger. Got Pretty proud of that. Done. Sick brag. You, got, you, you did it 12 times in one day? No, I did it 12 minutes apart. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. You know, I, uh, I don't know. Um, all in. I'm sorry. Zach. Yes. Saucy's playing poker right now. He just won. He turned it in. Did you? You should have yeah, challenged me. I would have played I don't against play. you. People get pissed at me because I put too much money in, but I don't want to mess around. Yeah. You get bored and then fire. I don't want to mess around. Oh, yeah. well, then, no, they have to adjust, right? Yeah. It's like, it's yeah, like yeah, adjust your plan. If you're at a table with a bad blackjack Whoa. player and you're like, I don't yeah. like that that guy's on third base, well, then go find another table. Yeah. That guy has every right to bet however he wants. It's yeah. his money. Pull your pants up, slut. Right. Pull your pants up, slut, and go to a different table. That's right. That's right. If you're playing at a poker table with somebody that you think bets too much or too little or plays annoyingly, then you're at the wrong table. Take bitch. advantage of it or ask for a table change. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Get oh, gosh, adjust. I was going to ask you. Oh, hey, how about your buddy Blake, man? Dude. Is he kicking ass or what? Why yeah, are you so bad? He's ass. so good. Yeah, why do you suck shit so bad? So He asked a great question. Everything I'm <laughs> Thank a, you. I, I've said this, I think, when we talked about him a couple months ago, but I'll say this again. He sucks shit? Is not, yeah, you suck shit? This is not ripping Blake. Blake will fully admit this, that mathematically what he's doing is almost impossible. It just is. It's even That's the beauty of poker versus, like, golf. If, if he was the best golfer... It wouldn't shock anybody that he had won four out of the last five major events in Minnesota, right? It's like, well, yeah, he's the best golfer. But there's so many variables, and the variance in poker is so severe that even the best player should not be winning at the clip that he's winning. Right. It's just not even mathematically possible. He's fully aware he will never in his life have a run like he's had in the last six months. He might win more money. You just can't win tournaments at this clip this often, almost ever. Major tournaments with the best players in the state of Minnesota. He, the, his final table this weekend was loaded with people that are good, and he did it again. My God, it's he's just, unbeatable. If he doesn't crush the World Series of Poker this year with a deep run or so or win a bracelet, I'm going to be floored because he's playing the best he's ever played, and he's running as hot as he's ever run. What events is he going to play in? Probably a lot. Decathlon. Yeah, yeah the decathlon. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, again, four major wins in the last six months. It's something like, what is it? Uh, and then if you count the one in uh, the, the Bahamas or whatever, I think he's like a half a million in earnings in the last six months. Something like that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, good for Playing him. cards, man. Yeah, good God for God damn. That's the best. Why don't you play in them? In what? Would you play in the one in the Bahamas? No, I think that I think that was a 10K. The That's only, a long way to go. The only 10K <laughs> that... That I'm playing is the main. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, so you cost ten grand to get in. Ten k for the God, main. Yeah, yep. that makes my wiener shrivel. No. Yep. Well, that's because you have crabs. I don't know what that has to do with it. No, it doesn't. I mean you're right. Those two things are true. But again, but I... the only the only person that doesn't like this logic is my wife. But shocking. If you look at everybody else in my neighborhood, and I throw my neighbors under the bus all the time that's to their what wives, neighbors are for. is a lot of them are either casual drinkers or full on alcoholics. <laughs> uh, they are golfers. They, are, they don't they, mind you they, saying that, dude. They no. all have hobbies that cost a lot of money. My hobby is one that potentially, and this year is, making me money. So if I spend ten grand on the main event, which a couple years ago was like total bucket list for me, I thought it was super cool, I, I'm still probably spending less on my hobby than a lot of the guys in the neighborhood who have zero chance at money flowing in. Right, because they're just golfing for fun. That's all money going out. Yeah, my money could come back tenfold, a hundredfold, a thousandfold. Who knows? Man, you're so right, dude. And my my wife is so pissed at me because of my hobby too, and for the exact same reasons. And it, what's your hobby? Begging whores. <laughs> oh, begging or bag? Both. I beg them to bag. See, me. but that's but that's my but point. Money it's, goes out. It, exactly. You're Never not making back money in. back in. Never if you started back charging, in. then she might be like, okay, this right. makes a little bit of sense right. to me. Right. No, it wouldn't make any sense to her if I started charging. <laughs> She'd be like, who's bang, paying to bang your little dick? Oh, God. <laughs> and that is a truth bomb. <laughs> Nobody's banging your little dick? Yeah, yeah. That's what your dad likes to do. He likes to pound me in the dick. Oh, my God. Uh, all Blake does is win. It's just uh, there's like uh, very few people that other poker players cheer for, and uh, he just happens to be on my list. Yeah. It's weird because like, even people that I really, really like, 
when they win, you're like, why can't that be me? Why does that guy win? Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. And there's so much jealousy in poker. It's so hard not to cheer against other people's well, successes. Because by nature, you guys all think you're better than each other. Yes, that correct. is partially You really true. do. Every yep. one yeah. of you thinks that you're great. Yeah. Every yeah. one, yeah. Every one, yeah. And it's, I think it's funny. I think it's great, though. I, I, I guess that's how it's got to be, right? When but, are you playing again? Can't say. Not playing until Vegas now. Oh, oh bitch. 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 You're going to go one? cold, brother. No, that's, a, that's not the big <laughs> yeah, one. That's, Hulk. that's five <laughs> weeks. <laughs> Listen to the Hulkster over there. <laughs> you're going to go cold, brother. Yeah. Uh, New, a little over two weeks of bar, yeah. That ain't so bad. That yeah, so bad. best. There was uh, Nordo like a month ago, not a month ago, a couple weeks ago, was like, hey, we should go to Las Vegas for the bye week. And shit on some hookers. Shit on some hookers. <laughs> and then stay. Hey, man, that's your hobby. Don't <laughs> let anybody, your wife or otherwise, yep. shame then, you for that. And then stay until the Vikings game. I was like, you're out of your fucking mind. Stay a whole week? Oh, That sounds like hell. Awful. Yep. I'm down. Let's go. Okay. Do you, you know the Eeyore. shrapnel that hotel room would take if you yeah, were in it for a week? Think how many times you'd cowabunga semen everywhere. Wow. Cowabunga <laughs> semen. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty grody, God. buddy. I wish that could be the title of the podcast, <laughs> but please don't out. name gross this that. Semen. You gross me right out. We'll, we'll, we'll hold the semen and just. Okay. All right. Now you're being weird. Go with cowabunga. Yeah, cowabunga. I don't know how you spell that. K-A-U. Cow. W-A-M. Cowabunghole. I don't even know, man. B U N G A? I don't know. Bingo. Cow, uh, Cowabunga. Hey, Jesus Christ. moment of sincerity. Jesus Hawk, you know how you, you know, like yeah. the Twin City Summer Jam, right? You're playing in front of this huge crowd. Yep. That's everything you've ever wanted, that's right? That's it, it's man. Just to live that moment. Love it. Yep. That's, that's all I want in poker. Sure, I want to win money. I just want one. one run at a major event, whether it's the World Series of Poker. It doesn't sure. even have to be the main. Like, if I final table the monster stack here in like three weeks. Sure, would I want like 100K or something? Yeah, that'd be super fun. But I just want that moment once in my life. I yeah. want the rush to the end where you can feel that the whole poker world is watching the tournament that you're in and you're a part of it. Yeah. It would be fucking sweet. Yeah, I, I want either. that rush. Yeah, I think this is your year, man. I think this you're is your fucking year. fucking unbeatable. This is the best I've ever played. The last six months is the best I have ever played, and it's not even That's close. That's awesome. God, God, I, that'd be great. If Blake took him out. I, that would I've be knocked crazy, that motherfucker it? out of about five tournaments in my life. Well, but uh, then he but kicked you I, in the Johnson. I think he shows me his his bank account and then probably laughs at my cute little bust outs. But oh. yeah, you do have a cute little you bust out. Cute, I think Zach, that cute little bust outs was yeah. the title of Zach's podcast yeah. in his hotel room. Yeah. How many bust outs did you have? Oh, well, there were cute little ones, twelve minutes apart. Man, <laughs> oh man! Bing. Second Cowabunga. one, more little than the first. Cowabunga! Yeah, you cowabunga every yeah. first echo. Cowabunga semen! <laughs> oh my hey, uh... God, your mic's on. <laughs> it's it's, it's, it was, it's on? a spinoff when the Ninja Turtles joined the Navy. <laughs> hey, can I tell you guys the, <laughs> the bit I told uh, Dick uh, Lieber, Lieber off the air yesterday about my uh, the guy the. Uh, Young man that mows my lawn. Jesus Christ. Yeah, go ahead. So, <laughs> it's a long story. <laughs> so, that was a long build-up to yeah, say, sorry. young man who's m- mows my lawn. <laughs> so, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Never mind. I'm not telling this. <laughs> Just the Chris goes, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> like just uh, yesterday, I Jesus uh, Christ, Lieber, <laughs> and, and uh, yesterday I told uh, <laughs> Lieber, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, the truth is, most people, the whole story wouldn't have lasted that long. <laughs> he just asked him permission last that fucking long. <laughs> Give her hell, saucy dog. The story's not going to be worth it. Well, it wasn't going to be if you landed it the first time. It's Never about a kid mowing your lawn. Go yeah. on. Come Never. on, you rabbit. No, now you have now to you tell have it. To That's how this bit it. works. Yeah, you please. have to tell it. Please. Okay, so the young man that mows my lawn is my insurance guy's son. Pat Kelly's my insurance guy. It's his son, Danny. So he's 15 years old, and his mom or dad will drop him off at my house. They'll, he'll mow the lawn, and then they'll pick him up, and he'll go. So one Friday, his mom dropped him off, Uh-oh. and... He started mowing the yard, and Anne, his wife, his mom, Pat's wife, came up to the house. She wanted to meet the dogs. Well, I had been, I was drinking, and I set my phone down on the couch, and the dogs get pumped when anybody walks up to the door. So the couch fell, the, my phone fell into the couch. And Pat Kelly's mom or wife stands there. We start talking. She, <laughs> she, she, <laughs> she <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
When did, just his, mom. <laughs> when did his mom get there? I missed part of the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, was was Pat Kelly's mom already at your house? <laughs> I'm confused. Was she getting picked up too? She just got into the conversation. What happened? What did she mow? <laughs> so, so Danny's grandma's where? <laughs> <laughs> and Danny's grandma's the title of the podcast. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, shit. God, there's no way the end of this story is going to be worth <laughs> no, it's shit. Not gonna be worth <laughs> it. no it's going to be worth it. Can I finish the story? I've known you long enough. So I walked around my fucking house for three hours, <laughs> and I couldn't find my fucking phone. And I'm like, and Daddy, Daddy, get that old bitch grandma <laughs> yours out of here. She stole my phone. <laughs> so I was going to go to goddamn Best Buy and buy a new phone, and I fucking called Dov to get me an employee <laughs> discount. And my wife said she found it in the couch, and I was like, well, fuck! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God, I'm going to throw up. (laughs) (laughs) Well, fuck. (laughs) How close was I? Pretty close? Kind of. Yeah, because you 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 couldn't find your phone. You're pissed. There's no doubt, right? So I couldn't find my phone, and I finally find my phone. And I have like five text messages from Kelly that's like, who is this random woman on our camera? And then because I didn't have my phone, it was like all these question marks. And yeah. then it was, who in the fuck is over at our house? Finally got my phone. I said, it's Danny's mom. <laughs> so for a second there, it's like, that's the end hey, of the story? Uh, Sauce is spending that's a story. lot of time with this lovely lady yeah, is she here. she super hot? But was she in the house? Yeah, she yes. Oh, so she came in. Hawkwood. So yeah. Kel walked her or watched her walk right in. Yeah. Oh, so right. Kel mm. thinks you're getting a little dick. Wait, <laughs> 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 Danny's, Danny's grandma, grandma has a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Danny's grandma. I guess it was Danny's grandpa. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the twist. It was Danny's grandpa. It doesn't say much for her looks. No. Oh, poor Danny's she grandpa. She looks like Robert De Niro. Oh, poor Danny's grandpa. <laughs> that's uh, it. That's all right. the story. Oh, that was the story. Oh, man. That was a good one, man. It wasn't. Yeah, that, no, no it, was it was fine. Good. Did she, did she believe you? I mean, did she did she throw a fit at all? Did she like No, she believed that? me. Yeah. Because then I said, look, when you missed her... Husband Pat also walking into the house. It's not a good story. No. Mm, well, cool. it worked though. Yeah. It was cool. uh, last night uh, when I finally got my ass um, to sit down on the couch for a little bit after the end of the day, uh, I was flipping through the channels and Fargo was just beginning the movie Fargo, oh, and I haven't seen it. it from the beginning for a very very long time. It's so spectacular, man. Yeah. Um, and the the blonde haired guy who's also in uh, um. Big Lebowski. Big Lebowski, who's yep. you know like the, the nihilist. German, yeah, the nihilist. That guy is so great, and he yeah, you know he no, says like five guy. words the entire film. His character, man, the the like when they're sitting in the booth at the beginning of the movie talking to the guy who's trying to hire them to William kidnap H. his Macy. wife. Yeah, he's sitting there. His mouth is gaping open, and he almost looks asleep, but he's looking at him just barely through the bottom of his eyes, and a cigarette is dangling from the yeah. side of his mouth. You know everything about that guy. In that scene, and he doesn't say a word. Yeah, well That's said. That's fucking cool. That's, man. Yeah. That I is. I would that. argue what you just said is the theme of most Coen Brothers movies. Right? Is is they they just cast the perfect face right. for that role where there's whether it's the makeup, the accent, the, the actual script, yeah. everything is exactly how it's supposed to be to get you to that point as quickly as possible. Right, right. Where yeah. there's there's no, ah, I wonder if I like this guy or not. It's like, nope, that's clearly the bad guy. You can right. tell immediately. That guy, by the way, is also in one episode of Seinfeld. He's in the Frogger episode. When George really? tries to get the Frogger machine across the street, Yeah, that dude is one of the two guys that helps him with the electrical huh. thing. And when George asks him about the outlet, that guy's like, oh, you mean the holes. And then George knows that he's fucked because his electrician doesn't even know the term outlet. <laughs> oh. Yeah, one episode. Is that an in early Seinfeld. episode? No, it's at the end. It's like either season eight or nine. It's one of the last two seasons. So, you, you know, when you. I haven't seen that movie again in its entirety for a long time, and I haven't seen even part of it for a long time. But there's one part of the film that, as a 52 year old seeing it this time around, I kind of I wonder about. Which one? Um, the scene with 
her high school friend, the Asian dude. Yep, with the super thick with Minnesotan the super thick accent, accent yeah. who uh, pretends that his wife is dead or whatever like that. Tries to sit beside her and then goes back around. There, there's um, when when she gets the call that she's and she goes, well, it looks like I'm going to go for a trip to to uh, Minneapolis then or to the cities then or whatever. And her husband goes, yeah, or something like that. He turns her. I wonder if he is reacting to the fact that the night before. She got a call from an old high school friend who said he was in Minneapolis. And I was trying to think if she mentioned during that phone call, oh, you're in Minneapolis. I wonder if there was an element of that scene of jealousy with him. Because he doesn't say very much, but he does go, he chews for a minute. He's looking straight ahead and he goes, yeah. Passive looks aggressive at, yeah, yeah. Minnesota very like, husband. Oh, really? Like, yeah, right. I just, I'm suspicious, I, but that, I'm that not willing fucking, to say anything. That scene with the with the, the classmate is so weird. Yeah, yep. Megita. Like yeah, there you go, it. right. And it's so out of yeah. place and so weird. There was a reason that it happened, obviously. Yeah. They don't do anything without there being a reason for it. But I just it <laughs> never the gotten Radisson, before. So you know it's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. That's right. Norma Gunderson and uh, Margie are the, the, the my favorite couple on, uh, on screen. I just love it. They how, are the best. How about a, the, the day, the first time I saw Fargo, earlier <laughs> that day, Kelly and I watched um, The Zodiac Killer. Oh, yeah. And he's... Uh, Margie's husband is the yeah. Zodiac in Zodiac. Oh, no kidding! Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. The one that hmm. they, the one at the end of Zodiac, they sure. kind of pin it on him, yeah. and obviously it was never proven. But the character that they pin it on is yeah. uh, is that same actor. No kidding. By the way, Javier Bardem was on Conan's podcast. I haven't it, heard that yet. It's yep. fantastic, and they were talking about No Country, obviously, which got me super pumped. Those are two of my favorite things, uh, Conan and No Country. But I, I guess I, I didn't know this, but. Um, Javier Bardem's English was so bad before that movie. He's obviously gotten way better at English the last right. almost two decades now. He said the gas station scene, which was the one that Conan specifically oh. asked him about, because he just, that's arguably the best scene in the movie, and there's no bad scenes in that movie, yeah, but that right. is probably the one that everybody remembers, because he mentions the, you know, what's the most you've ever lost in a coin toss. Anyway, he said that was arguably his hardest uh, scene of the entire sh- shoot, because He's like, I didn't talk much in that movie, right? I'd have a yeah. line or two, but I just essentially killed people. He's like, that one, I had to have a full dialogue with this guy. And he's like, I worked on that for months Wow, because that's how little English he spoke. Hmm. I thought that was super fascinating because when you watch that movie, you wouldn't know this guy doesn't know English very well. He just killed it. Imagine yeah. killed um, it. Imagine you got hired to do a movie in Spanish right? where yeah. you're standing right now. Yeah. And you only had the one scene, but you did have the one scene. God damn, man. Yeah, it's a good point. Would funny. you be able to do that? I, I mean, if you give me a lot of money in six months, I sure, think I figure sure, it out. Sure. Especially if, if you're like Javier yeah. where you're saying, I just, you know, two lines in that scene, three lines in that scene, but then basically one back and forth monologue. I would work on that one for a handful of months. But what you just said about, you know, the face on that one guy with the dangling cigarette is all you needed to know. Yeah. Uh, Conan said something about. The, the old man behind the counter in the gas station about how you could see the fear on his face yeah. immediately, right? So even yeah. though no gun's ever shown, Anton never specifically says, if this coin goes the wrong way, I'm going to fucking kill you. But it's all implied, but the actor did such a good job of showing the fear of understanding the situation, even though he kept saying, I don't know what we're betting. You know, the things like, he kept act, trying to act like he didn't know, but he could see it in his face that he knew. Ugh. And then Javier Bardem just couldn't, Stop praising the guy for saying he was actually underselling himself. He's like, I had to do almost nothing in that scene. I just sat, basically sat there and ate nuts, and that guy did all the acting. He just he was giving all the credit to that dude for just selling it. Mm-hmm. That, yeah, that's an incredible. That his scene. job was to display fear. My job was just basically to say, you know, you've been putting it up your whole life, and that's mm-hmm. essentially it. That fucking movie, man. Yeah. So good, so good. All time favorite. It's there's not a wasted line, not a wasted scene. Every performance is spectacular. But, again, you could say that for almost every Coen Brothers movie. No yeah. Country, to me, is the peak. But, like, Fargo, everybody in that is spectacular. Right? Steve Buscemi's unbelievably oh, yeah. good. They're all yeah. good. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, the guy, the, um, the, the, you know, the father-in-law or whatever. Yeah, that the guy. The, guy's great. Yep, he's fantastic. I don't know that actor's name, but that guy's either, great. Man. Is that TV show coming back? Uh, John Hamm. Oh, is, oh he, yeah. is he doing one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do we know when? Uh, I don't know. And again, who knows if the writer's strike sl- slows any of this stuff down too? But uh, yeah, that's, that's what are true. we on? Season five now? Fargo yeah, season um, five, I think. 
Uh, yeah, I think this would be five. Yes, Chris Rock. Yeah, uh, I, yeah Fargo I, season five. It's set in two thousand and nineteen. Uh, in March, it says it teased a twenty twenty three return. So uh, boom, 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 boom. later this year, it says later this year. Yeah. I think they're coming back to Minnesota. I think with that, right? What's the What's the worst season know. of that? I think it's the last one. Yeah. That lady was so good, and they barely used her. The creepy nurse lady. I've I've liked all of them, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe the Ewan McGregor one was the worst year. I don't know. I like that one, babe, though. But, but I, Exactly. That's the problem. Is I like that season, though, too. You're talking about, uh, what is her name? Mary Elizabeth yeah. Winstead, I think, is her last name. Yeah. She was in um, Scott wish, Pilgrim like, as well. Lauren Malvo, I mean, that, I still watch clips on YouTube. Like, that character is. Which one? Season one. Season that was one, Billy Bob Thornton. Oh, Billy yeah. Bob Thornton. I mean, my God. You dated him. Yeah, he was fantastic. He's good in everything. And Martin Freeman's good in everything, too. Yeah. I just, uh, the, the scene that I'll, I'll never forget is when he's, Lauren gets pulled in to, for questioning. And he turns into like a Minnes- like a northern Minnesota yeah. priest, yeah, like right, pastor yeah. or whatever. And he yeah. starts talking about the the church and the bingo and the you know <laughs> the fundraiser stuff. And it's just like he just completely transformed. And that's, I mean, as far as acting goes, I, I love to take an acting class because I I just have no idea how you do that. You should do that. It'd be a good bit. Yeah, yeah you should, man. Take an acting class. You or- pay for it. <laughs> yeah, Hawk will pay for it. Why don't you? Why don't you let Hawk pay for it? Yeah, go right. once, yes. ask for a refund, and then pocket the rest of the money, yeah. <laughs> oh and then God. spend it on, <laughs> on sitting yeah. in hotel rooms and beating off. Is that what you did? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> you spent it on shitting in hotel rooms and beating off. <laughs> no comment. You, know, you can poop anywhere, dude. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of that, I gotta go do that right now. Okay, thank you, Haven Poker. Thanks to Haven thank you, Poker. Haven Poker. Download Haven Poker. Please play download it. Poker against your friends. It's super fun. It's free. What? Are you, it's free for God's sakes. Just yeah. download. H-A-Y-V-I-N. Haven Poker. That was the After Party Podcast. Bye.